According to Yonhap South Korea successfully conducted a test launch of an upgraded version of the domestically developed Korean tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile I, KTSSMI. The test of the modified missile variant took place at the Agency for Defense Development's testing site in Tian County, located 109 kilometers southwest of Seoul. The KTSSMI was initially developed to address the need for precision strikes against North Korean artillery concealed in underground caves, following the 2010 artillery shelling incident on South Korea's northwestern border island of Yongpyeon. It is known for its capability to penetrate the ground by several meters to reach underground targets. The recent test launch of the KTSSMI has generated interest in potential exports, with nations such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates reportedly expressing interest in acquiring the export version known as CTM-290. Additionally, the CTM-290 missile has emerged as a potential competitor in the international arms market, given its similarities with the ATACMS tactical ballistic missile and compatibility with the K-239 Chunmu Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS. Unveiled to the public during the Defense Exhibition ADX 2017 in South Korea, the KTSSMI, or Korea Tactical Surface-to-Surface -surface Missile, is currently operational in fixed land canisters and is equipped with a heavier warhead. South Korea is actively advancing its missile technology with the development of KTSSM-2 and KTSSM-3, while Poland is preparing to introduce the CTM-290 into its defense arsenal. While specific performance details of the KTSSM-2 remain undisclosed, it is expected to offer enhanced capabilities compared to the CTM-290. The original KTSSM design was intended for launch from fixed, concealed launchers, with the Batch I variant expected to enter service soon. A vehicle launched variant known as Batch II is reportedly in development. Recent live firing tests have demonstrated that the Batch I KTSSM has an actual range closer to 200 km, surpassing initial estimates of 180 km. Furthermore, the KTSSM II, an extended range version equipped with a more capable penetrating warhead, is currently under development. South Korea's K-239 Chunmu MLRS, which is also used by Poland, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates, can serve as a launching platform for the KTSSMI, ensuring its broader applicability on the international stage. The KTSSM missile system, developed by the South Korean Agency for Defense Development in collaboration with defense company Hanwha, enables the launch of up to four missiles nearly simultaneously from a static launch platform, incorporates a GPS-guided system, and has a maximum firing range of 120 kilometers.